Entertainment Weekly recently revealed a whole bunch of new information about Kylo Ren. And the most fascinating thing about these reveals, if you ask me, is that we found out what a lot of us already kind of knew ahead of time based upon the speculation and the rumors that was going to happen in Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens, that Kylo Ren is not Adam Driver's character's real name. And that was confirmed in the Entertainment Weekly article. The other thing that was confirmed is that Kylo Ren got his name from being a part of a mysterious organization called the Knights of Ren. And I've noticed that in the Star Wars community, especially amongst a lot of the casual fans, the ones that have only seen the six films, a lot of Star Wars fans assume that the Sith are the only dark force, dark side of the Force users um, in the Star Wars saga. And even though Walt Disney Corporation has pretty much said that the expanded universe, the previous expanded universe, is non-canon now. Uh, they've pretty much said it's the legacy universe now. It doesn't count. There was a lot of clues in the expanded universe that kind of validate this, you know, this this kind of theory that the Sith are not the only dark side users in the galaxy. The Sith are just one group. The Sith are one uh, organization, one religion who specialized in these, in, in what was called in the in the expanded universe, dark magic and terrible spells. That's what was said. Now, uh, the Knights of Ren, from everything that we've seen in all the promotional material, the Knights of Ren are not Sith. Now, obviously, one of the big rumors, and we're going to get into some spoilers here, so just get ready for this, uh, is that. Kylo Ren is seeking out some ancient Jedi and Sith artifacts. Now, obviously, the, the connection here is that Jedi and Sith are both Force users. So it's not so much that he's obsessed with the Sith. Perhaps it's more so that he is obsessed with just artifacts from people who are very powerful in using the Force in the past. And that's what it sounds like to me. It really does. Now, of course, the... Rumor is that he's obsessed with Darth Vader, and what better guy to pick than that? But from what we understand, the Knights of Ren was an organization that came to fruition after the Battle of Endor. I know a lot of people are saying that they've been around for a longer time. That's not necessarily the case from what I've, from what I've researched. I could be wrong on this. I've just researched this, and I haven't found any other information than that. And Kylo Ren was a member of this group, and the rumor is that Snoke is also a member. And it's interesting to me because J.J. Abrams, Kathleen Kennedy have purposely not talked about the Sith whatsoever for these films. So it may be possible that at least with The Force Awakens, at least with the first of the new trilogy, we're not going to see the Sith. We might not see them until Episode 8 or 9 if they even come back. We may have a new enemy. But if you look at the expanded universe, like I said, Disney said it was not canon anymore. However, that does not mean that J.J. Abrams, Lawrence Kasdan, and the whole crew cannot borrow concepts and ideas from the expanded universe, and it appears that they have done that. Uh, there are other Force-sensitive dark side users in the galaxy who do not claim to be Sith. Mostly and most importantly are the Dark Jedi, which in the Expanded Universe, they were actually the first group. They existed prior to the Sith. Now, the Sith's goals have always been to wipe the galaxy out of the Jedi. It's been that constant war. But the Dark Jedi were a little bit different. Dark Jedi were pretty much Jedi that did not want to conform to the Jedi Council's rules. And those of you who have seen the films and read the books, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You can't, you know, you, you, you can't be in a relationship. You're kind of like a Buddhist monk type of thing. And people don't, you know, certain people just can't handle that. So they learn these skills. They learn to control the Force. And then they said, you know what? This Jedi stuff's not for me. And they went off and they became Dark Jedi. And it's interesting because there was a lot of speculation amongst the community that Qui-Gon Jinn may have actually been a Dark Jedi in secret. In that he talks about in The Phantom Menace about the living force. And... There's a lot of contradictions, and, and not contradictions, controversy around that statement that people have picked apart here and there. But the thing about the Dark Jedi is that they believe, from what I've read, that the Dark Jedi, the dark side of the Force can be used for their own purposes. They, don't, they actually don't think that they're evil. And of course, this was explored in Revenge of the Sith about how, you know, evil doesn't think it's evil. 
But with Dark Jedi, they don't really care about conquering the galaxy or wiping out their Jedi brethren. They just don't follow the teachings of the Sith and other dark side organizations. Of course, you're going to have beef, but it's more so that they kind of keep to themselves. However, of course, you're always going to have evil people because the dark side does corrupt. It does corrupt no matter what. So once you go down the twisted path of the dark side, you're going to end up killing your friends, you're going to end up losing your mind. It's, we've seen it so many times, both in the films and as well as the literature. So, again, that begs the question, is J.J. Abrams kind of taking the concept of Dark Jedi and using them for the Knights of Ren? We don't know exactly who the Knights of Ren are. We know that the Knights of Ren are an organization after the Battle of Endor, and we know that Kylo Ren's a member, and Snoke may be as well. But the key word there is knights. And for them to call themselves knights, that tells me that they are Jedi knights. This is a correlation here. So it could be possible that at some point after the Battle of Endor, there were a group of Force users who, I guess, maybe became, I don't know, obsessive with Darth Vader's passing. Or maybe they were trained by Luke and they decided to turn. I'm not really sure. We don't know that yet. We're going to know very soon because... There's books coming out about this whole thing very, very soon, but we do know that this group appears to be Jedi Knights. How skilled they are, I don't know. Kylo Ren kind of comes off like a very raw kind of a rookie as far as being, you know, a Force user. Um, his lightsaber, of course, is very imperfect. People have talked about that. Uh, about how it's all kind of fuzzy and that's just the way that he built it and the, the big talk is that oh well he's not that good yet he can't build like a lightsaber in the quality of the one that Anakin and Luke used so it's interesting to me I, I do think that and what I do like about this this new trilogy is that we're going to have new groups um you know, it's no longer about just Jedi versus Sith. That's not what we're talking about here. There's different dark side users and light side users, and it's very interesting to see where they're going to go with it. I don't know if we're going to see any Sith in this movie at all. or I mean, I'm sure they'll be mentioned, but I don't know if we're going to see a Sith villain. But I guess we'll find out. Anyways, I want to know your thoughts below. What do you think the Knights of Ren are? Uh, what information do you have? Let me know in the comments section. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you haven't, like if you're inclined, and I want you to have a great day. May the Force be with you, and I'll catch you down the road.